What's going on YouTube and Cap24 coming back with another video for the rotating playbook series that we're doing to end Madden 18. Today's play is going to be coming out of the Aints playbook in which was requested by Warrior Real Estate Solutions. He's looking for a play out of the pistol bunch tight end. He likes to run the halfback zone with the power audible to the left. I wanted to see if we had any creative pass plays out of that formation. A lot of the feedback that we got this week was that you want to see a little bit more of the chain mover type of plays and this is going to be one of those for you this is a great play that's going to be set up to where you're going to have a cloud flat beater to one side and be able to read that right away and have a hard flat beater to the other side so we're going to show you different type of keys to look at to make sure you know kind of right out of the snap what you're looking at and being able to move those chains at ease using this play so let's go ahead and take a look at it now so the first coverage we're going to look at guys is cover three more specifically cloud flats okay and the way we're going to set this up is we're gonna put x on a curl block our running back and take this y and move him to the right now i want you to look at this y's route see how he's got that option to stop well that's going to come into play for short yardage situations we'll get into that a little bit later in the video but i want to make sure you see it we can motion him all the way to the right hand side on the numbers now what's great about this is it's a two-way read we're going to read the left side of the field first if we notice that it is hard flats, we're going to throw to the right side to the A receiver. If we notice that it's cloud flats, we're going to stay on the left side and throw it to the B. Now, I know some people are going to say I, I don't read it right away. It's a little confusing for me. I'm going to show you an easy way to read if it's cloud flats or hard flats by looking at one player in the slot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this X receiver, okay? If the slot, the slot DB over him goes ahead and presses him or chucks him or gets a hand on him. What that's going to end up happening is that is cloud flats. That's what their assignment is, is to kind of reroute that player a little bit, right? Now, if it's hard flats, that guy is going to step to the side, allow the guy to get an easy, wide open route, and you're going to know that it's hard flats. So look at that one DB. We're going to see that he gets a little bit of a chuck. I know that I'm going to stay to the left side of the field, throw it to this B receiver, and get the catch on the sideline. That player that is chucking that player is going to stay on the uh, the numbers on that one curl route. So let me show it to you again. And we're going to move this guy over. So we're going to look at the cloud flat. Watch the player with the, the C over his head. Every time that he's a cloud flat, he's going to chuck his guy. We're going to wait for this B, throw it to him right there, get ourselves that easy 10 yards. See how it's right on the 50-yard line? 10 yards when it comes to that route. Now... What if it's cloud, um, uh, hard flats, all right? Watch that same player with the C over his head. He is not going to get a chuck on that player. So that's the only player I'm looking at. So if there's a player over that player's head, you just look at him for the easy um, distinguishment if that guy's going to be in hard flats or cloud flats. If you go and see that he lets the guy go, now I know that it's hard flats. I'm going to throw it to this side and get my catch over there. That's what is against traditional coverage. I'm going to throw it there. A lot of people are playing the um, the ability to do inverted coverage. So on inverted coverage, it's a little bit easier to throw that uh, route to the A receiver due to the fact that um, he's taught to go more towards the middle of the field, leaving that open a little bit more. All right. So here we go again. Here's against hard flats. So again, look at the player that's above the X. See that he does not chuck him. You can see how it goes with Prossum, okay? Then I know I'm going to go to the A receiver, and you can see how that's a lot easier to throw the ball when it's going against the um, ability of having the deep halves. So this is a nice play to start off a game with if somebody's running cover three. So that way you can kind of see if that player gets kind of open a little bit more, they're going to know, okay, these guys are in um, uh, deep halves. If it's a little bit of a tighter throw, then you can say, you know what, they're in traditional cover three. Let me do a traditional cover three bomb or let me do an invert bomb depending on what they're in. So that's why sometimes just knowing how somebody reacts to a ball is really going to help you distinguish what type of coverage they're in and how they can attack them differently. So let's go ahead and now look at cover two. Cover two is going to be a cloud flat the majority of the time, right? So what we're going to do is put the same setup and you're really looking to hit the X receiver here, okay? That is going to be your route, but we're also going to throw it to this Y, but it's really only going to be a couple yards, but we'll get to that in a second, right? So the X route is going to hold that player. You're going to see that B, throw that player right there and you get yourself some easy yards. So that X route is going to get the cloud flat to jump just enough 
to make sure that we have that ability. Now, I did tell you that in cover three, you know, you're gonna you're looking for that player. Now, with cover two, this is the difference. Watch how that player goes to the inside. See how he goes to the inside? You should know right now and there, it's not cover three. So if he doesn't get a chuck on him and he goes to the inside, that means he's basically going to be playing a hook zone or a vertical uh, zone. He's not going to the flats. That means you should know that it's cover two. And if he goes to the inside, you should keep this route. And you're going to throw it to him right away as he makes his cut. And he's going to have an easy catch on the sidelines. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look a little bit more into this. What if you misread the guy on the left and you want to throw it to the right? Okay. Let's go ahead and check this out. And here it is. If you go ahead and say, you know what, I thought I was going and I misread that because the, the guy let the player go, I want to go to the right-hand side. You don't want to throw it to this A receiver. You're going to want to throw it to the Y against cover two. The reason why is that the A is going to drive that player back. Y is just going to sit there and you're going to get yourself about five yards. That's where that little hitch comes when it comes to the cover two that you're going to be able to throw it to him as the outside player goes out there. So again, if you just need a couple yards, it's going to be great that way. Now let's go ahead and look at a situation where I like to run this play as well. And it's basically in a situation where it's fourth and two. You don't know if they're doing hard flats or cloud flats, and you really want to make sure that you've got an opportunity just to narrow down your read to one side of the field. So in this situation, we're going to put them in cloud flats first. And what we're going to do here is the same exact uh, setup, but we're just going to hike the ball a little bit earlier when the Y goes across. We're going to hike it at the hash mark as he passes the tight end. And what you're going to see is that the Y is going to get open against Cloud Flats for about three yards. Here we go. He goes to the outside, turns the ball, throws it right there, and you're going to get yourself the catch right there for about three or four yards. Now, if they were doing any type of hard flats like that, what you're going to see here is you're going to look at that player. You're going to notice that that player is going to get somebody on him. And then you're just going to proceed to the A receiver. So you're going to hike it right there. You're going to see that the Y goes outside. We're looking for him. Nope, so that guy's there. Now we're going to throw it to that player, and we're going to get ourselves some easy yards. So that's why I like it against that. It works the same way against cover two like I showed you before. It's going to be one of those deals where most people, like I said, are, are going to stay in, in um, their cloud flats. But in case they don't, and we'll make sure we do it like this, we are going to have the ability to do either or, right? So this guy's going to go this way. We're just looking to the right side of the field. If the guy goes ahead and jumps the Y, which he's not going to, we know that. Put it right there. Get yourself some easy yards. You can see against cover two, if you hike it earlier, you're actually able to get a little bit more yardage up the field as you turn it up. And then against cover two, again, what we're going to show you here is that if they are doing the uh, random hard flats where they're trying to catch you on something like that, maybe they're sending a blitz, where what we can do here is now we're going to be looking at the a receiver and really be able to get that open. So here we go again. We look at this player. Is he open? No, he's not going to be open. Okay, we'll just wait for the A to get over there, get the ball, and catch your ball. So it's kind of one of those uh, one, two. All I want to do is minimize my read to one section of the field, make sure that um, you know I don't have to scan everywhere away from the user player to be able to get it. Now, I want to make sure I mention cover four is the one coverage that makes this a little bit tough. Um, not when you go against your cloud flats. So cloud flats, already mentioned, you're going to read this like a cover three, same way. What's going to end up happening is that guy's going to bump the X. And by the time you realize if it's cover three or cover four, you're already throwing it to the B, right? So that's not the big deal, right? So here we go. The guy gets bumped. We see that he's going to there, throw it to this player. We're good, right? So cloud flats isn't going to be an issue. It's the coverage to where somebody is doing cover four. Let me make sure I get cover four out there. And they're base aligning and pressing, right? This is going to be the one coverage that you're going to kind of say, okay, this is going to be a little bit tougher when they're in this hard flat like this, right? When anybody's in this something like this, you should expect a cover four look just because that's how most people do it, um, unless they're doing something different all game. So that's the one thing that I want to make sure that you see. The A makes a really tough throw here because the guy's in a position to kind of take away that corner a little bit more, right? So I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. But typically speaking, if they do that, you're looking to the A, he's not there, the X receiver will be there, okay? So that's the one caveat that you want to kind of read it differently, and I want to kind of show it to you here. So I don't want you to panic. I want you to make sure that you know who you're looking for, right? So basically, in this situation, if you were looking to the left, and you see that you're going to kind of throw it to that player, and then you know it's hard flats because the guy didn't bump him. 
you look to the right and that guy is kind of right there. See how he kind of opened his arms? You should definitely say, you know what, at this point, it should be cover four. And that's when you're really looking for this guy. Hit him right there and you should be good to go. I, I kind of want to show you everything just so that you know that, you know, in a, in a game situation, you don't panic. You know where your reads are and your read should be left, right on hard flats. If it happens to be a cover four, especially when they're pressed, you should have that as a thought before you even get to line of scrimmage and carry out the play that way, guys. So again, guys, I just want to go ahead and remind you what we're doing regarding our schemes as we end Madden 18. We're taking each one of the formations we showed you this week, which was basically the Giants gun flex Y hip, the Vikings pistol ace you off, the uh, Chiefs single back ace slot, and the Saints pistol bunch tight end. And we're just going to give you a couple mini schemes with those. So basically each one of those will get an additional couple plays and give you some different ways to use the powerful plays that we've already shown you this week and give you some things to kind of use as a starter scheme with those. You know, typically we do 20 setups for each um, formation, you know, as we do one week per um, formation. This time, because we did four different formations, we're just going to give you some complimentary options to go with the powerful plays that we've already shown you. I want to say thank you for everybody that has watched this video all the way to the end. We do appreciate your support. If you got something useful out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It does really help us grow our channel. If you're new to our channel and haven't seen one of the videos that are on your screen right now, go ahead and check it out for some great Madden content. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.